Hello again, everyone. Deflect here, Firm But Fair Gaming. You wanted to play Havoc. Havoc does huge, huge damage. Uh, better on packs than boss, but still very good. It is a very fun spec to play, and there is two very good builds you can play for it. I'll get into both of them and the rotation for both of them uh, here. Now, if you haven't done so, don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button, like, share, comment below. Let's get into the builds. So, Havoc, your big, big stats are going to be crit and mastery. Oh, not even in my Havoc here. That's tank here. Crit mastery are going to be your big stats. I'm waiting to get my diamond made so I can put on the diamond with primary and crit. But that will be my next stat for the diamond. I also have to change out this ring because I was using it for taking and I was low health. So I have a stamina versatility in here. It will be changing for a crit mastery diamond. Or not diamond, crit mastery gem. Uh, the rest of them I put on leech. And I put on frozen devotion for AoE damage on this. I am running the lariat neck, which is the three gem slot neck. You can uh, get someone to craft this for you. Hopefully you guys have good people on your server like we do on ours. And the crafting price for this is way down as well. Your spells and ability have a chance to empower one of your socketed gems, granting $4.99 of their associate stat for 12 seconds. As I'm an engineer, I also use the needlessly complex wrist guards. I put crit on these, and these just give me a battle res. So, very handy to have. My weapons suck. Uh, <laughs> I haven't been able to get better ones yet. Uh, crit verse and crit verse. So, it is what it is. It's what I have so far. I haven't enchanted the one because I was hoping by now I would have a different one. Uh, going into the talents, I'm going to show you the... Uh, one build first. Uh, this is what I call my 3000 no momentum build. And it's there's a different play style between this and the momentum build. Uh, momentum is a lot, a little bit more movement, and it is a lot more dependent on uh, throw wave as well. So it is going left and right, and it takes, <coughs> excuse me, puts a lot of emphasis on your throw wave. Where this one is a different play style, you have Blade Tempest instead. Uh, the left side we'll go through. I have precise sigil because so I like dropping him on someone's feet. I have sigil misery, the increased health going down. I took consume magic because it comes in very handy. The chaos nova with reduced fury cost because interrupts and reduced fury costs are very good. Uh, darkness and the reduced time. And then the hunt and the crappy little upgrade to it. Seeing as the hunt is pretty dog shit right now. Uh, moving into the right side, going through, I have I beam. I uh, item, then you go down the left side, demonic appetite. This is a very chaos strike heavy build. Uh, you come through, get your chaos strike, fifty percent crit chance. Uh, going down the left side, all the way to tactical retreat. So tactical retreat will reduce the cooldown and generate eighty fury over ten seconds. Um, so it's very good. You want to use this. Basically, I'll show you in the rotation, but you'll use I-Beam, then Tech Road Tree, then go into your Essence Break, just so you have all that fury. Uh, but we'll get into that later. That's kind of the gist of it. But anyway, uh, you want to go down here, get Essence Break, uh, Critical Strike, equal to your Critical Chance. So you want such high crit chance. And duration of active Demon Form is extended 0.1 seconds per 8 fury spent. So... Very good. Also use, I use fodder too. Uh, I haven't messed around with the Leeson Decree yet. I don't know if it would do more damage. I should check that out. But the other build. Now these two sim almost identical. So one is, I think my character, because I was I also tank, so I don't have the best stats on this one. And my gear is pretty low because I haven't got drops. So I believe my sim was 58,000 and the other one was 58,061. So you can get 61 more damage, ideally playing the momentum build. Uh, is it worth it? If you can do it, sure. If you like the place out, great. Enjoy it. Uh, it's very weird to put Throw Glaive as a priority for me. It's very weird, but it does a ton of damage. And you always want to be keeping momentum up, especially during your breaks. So, 
you go down all the way to the left side, and it's called left side, right side build. <laughs> you just go left side and right side, and away you go. You have fell interrupt, which is nice to have. Uh, you have fodder again, and your throw glaive deals 20% increased damage because this is a throw glaive build. Throw glaive causes targets to take an additional 120% of the damage dealt as chaos over six seconds. So two different play styles. I haven't figured out how to hit this change. I really use this because it brings up consume magic, and I like that it has that. So uh, I don't know how to get rid of this because a lot of this isn't what I want to be using, but um, I haven't gone through my recours on Havoc yet, so it sits in the middle of my screen and it's right there. I did, however, add these because the Soul Ren is very nice to have and then the, uh, the Fell Rush because when I'm sitting on two, it lets me know. So I did add those. I do enjoy that. Uh, basically, it is very good for me and you can see when I have the other one Unbound Chaos up, so your Fell Rush will do 500% extra damage. It definitely shines as well. And then Soul Ren to let me know I need to throw a Glaive. But uh, I'll do this Momentum one first. You want to get Momentum, and you can get Momentum by Bell Rushing, or you can get Momentum by Flipping. So basically, it's your Movement one. So you can Bell Rush or Flip to gain Momentum. And you want to do that because Momentum gives you extra damage by 8%. Now, during this extra damage by 8% is going to be a little different on the priority list. So your Essence Break priority will be Essence Break, Blade Dance. If meta is available, meta, Blade Dance. That will be your Essence Break. That will do the most damage. If, if meta is not available, you will... Essence Break, Blade Dance, Throw Glaive. This will be different than the other one where it used to be Essence Break, Blade Dance, Chaos Strike. So it changes. Now what you want to do is line these up with your I-Beam. So you want to get into Daemonic with I-Beam. You'll want to flip. I usually rush back, then Essence Break, Blade Dance, and then Throw Glaive. And then Blade Dance if you had it. If not, if you don't have a Throw Glaive, then you would use your last one under Chaos Strike. So you can see, like I'm not doing the rotation very fast just to show, but you can see it does huge damage on six packs. And the reason I flip back is to gain that fury and then because you only have four seconds left that's why you rush in and then essence break and then play dance and throw glaive because that will do more damage uh with all that stack damage up so your momentum stacks your essence break stacks all that good stuff if you have any questions on that that's kind of your priority for the build um for this momentum build it does a lot of damage, but that will be your setup window. We'll getting into Daemonic to do more damage and then flipping back to get, make sure you're full on the Fury and then going in to use Essence Break, Play Dance, Throw Glaive, and then Chaos Strike, what's left. If you, again, don't have meta. So, I'll switch to the other build because it has a different play style. I, I don't know, it's weird using Throw Glaive basically above everything else it, it comes in just a little bit blade dance but we'll get into the other one nonetheless so this is the other play style uh this one i has a lot less let's say it's a ton less movement so momentum is all built around movement and hitting right after your movement this one is a little more forgiving if you have to move and chase or move and do something because you only have that four second window or five second window under momentum. But it will be the same priority list. Now I'll show you this one with meta because I showed you the last one without. Um, but it will be the same. So you will you will be the go in with I beam, flip back, and then essence break, blade dance, meta. Blade Dance. 
And then if you had it up in time, because mine was getting very close, you'd bell rush to get the last piece. So that would be your priority. And then you'll want to drop your throw or your glaive tempest as well after. But your priority sequence when it's off cooldown, blade dance or death sweep or blade dance will be priority number one. Your non meta one will be once you do essence break blade dance it will be the soul cleave or annihilation you should be in annihilation because it should match up very well with your eye beam with the reduced cooldown on everything so you'll want to go in with the eye beam then flip then essence break so eye beam flip get back essence break blade dance annihilate annihilate and you can get three out and that will do great damage on aoe as well so that is your AoE rotation for the second build. It changes a little. It changes uh, Throw Glaive to Annihilate Chaos Strike. That is all. Pretty uh, pretty close to the same, but not quite. You're not really building on the momentum because you don't have to worry about the momentum. But this one does come in just slightly 62 DPS lower than the momentum played properly. So... It is a lot more forgiving than momentum, but it will come in slightly less. So it is, there's two options there. If you do have any questions though, like I said, leave a comment below. If you can think of anything you would like to know uh, on Havoc, let me know as well. You do still have some defensive in Blur and Darkness. You will have a ton of Leech because you put Leech on all your gear. And again, Court of Stars, if you haven't seen my Vengeance video, you can get the um, last person you need to find. Once you get five clues, you can use your Spectral Sight. Use it at the top of the stairs is the best because they're all in the area. You can actually fly down with Spectral Sight up if they're on below, but you can't really. You can get up, but it takes a lot longer to get up than it does to get down. So try and be at the top when you use your Spectral Sight. It just makes life easier. Little tidbit for you. The rest is, don't forget to use, you know, Sigil Misery is a great, great um, fear. Cower makes mob stop. Uh, the Chaos Nova is, a, you know, massive AoE stun, huge darkness if you're getting into trouble. Grants 20% chance to avoid all damage. Use Blur, uh, increase your chance to dodge by 50%, reduce all damage taken by 20%. So if you have incoming damage, especially unavoidable damage, don't forget to pop Blur. Uh, and you know, the rest is kind of where it is. If you have your trinkets, you can use your trinkets. I put mine in my essence break because that's your biggest damage window. So I just have a macro to use that while I use essence break. I only have Ruby and Horn of Valor right now. I want the whetstone, but I haven't been able to get it to drop with all the courts I've been running. So right now it is the Ruby, Whelp, Shell, and the Horn. Not the worst, but Still looking for that whetstone, and I believe Storm Boon is still the best, but um, haven't quite got that one either. Anyways, uh, this was the Havoc build, Deflect, Burnwood Fair Gaming. We'll see you in the next video.